Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video, I made three of them on uh, cleaning up this jagged clip, clip art, and you can see how jagged it was, because there's something wrong when you, even when he contoured it, he contoured, and it made it jagged, so I've it, broken it apart, if you haven't watched the first couple of videos, you might want to watch that, but if you're fortunate to have X7 and above, you've got a tool it's uh, called the smoothing tool. So I'm going to grab my two-point line. I'm going to hold down my control button. I'm going to draw a parallel line. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to get my virtual segment delete key, and I'm going to delete half of this because I do not need it anymore. I do not need that line anymore, so we're going to hit delete. And then we're going to clean this up. But with X7 and above, you have a tool right here called the smoothing tool or the smooth tool. So we're going to zoom in and I'm just going to show you and see all these nodes. So if you don't have X7 or, or like X6 and below, you have to do it the way I did it in the other videos. But if you have X7 or above, you can use the smoothing tool to smooth out these nodes. So first you need to click on them and just smooth them out. And you can see it's reducing nodes. Let me zoom in here. get our smooth tool and click on your item and then just start going around and, and deleting some they're basically it's deleting some of these nodes but it's making them smooth and you can go over it as many times you want it's a little better it's a little more accurate um, I really really like it I do not use X7 in my videos because on that particular one I've got a on that computer I've got a virus and it completely changed my X7 so I'm doing this on a laptop and, but you can go through here and smooth the nodes. And what I like about doing it uh, just half the item, because now you're still going to be equal. Now you could make this quite a bit bigger. You can go up here and make it a one inch circle and make this circle bigger. So you're both, you're basically doing both lines at one time. Because anything that's inside the line is going to get smoothed out. And you just go back and forth over it and it smooths it out. And you can actually set a degree that'll smooth more of a, it'll smooth it faster. And you'll see that. But this is a really cool tool. I've done a video on it before. It's basically just deleting some nodes. And I mean, you can, once you have it clicked, you can just go through there and just go wild. You could probably actually make it three inches and then just smooth out the whole thing. You've got to remember that you've got to be on the item. So we're actually smoothed out too much. So we can hit the undo key. So maybe the three inch isn't going to work because it's going to smooth out these corners more so. But that's good enough for the video. Now, and before I have a bad spot in this. So I'm going to go close these nodes, take my shape tool. And I'm just going to make that a little like that and then bring my node down. I'm going to get my smart fill tool. And I'm going to fill it in. It just happens to be yellow. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And see, he's got it set on quarter inch by quarter inch. I don't want that. I want my nudge factor set on zero all the time. Or my duplicate distance set on zero all the time. So it does not uh, cause me any trouble. Now, I made a duplicate, so I'm going to delete it. Now, I'm going to go back to my smart color field. This time, I'm going to color it in black. And so now I've got black. I'm going to make a duplicate of it with control D. And it, it's giving me this dialogue, which I do not need. But then I'm going to hold down my control button and I'm just going to move it over. Now I've got exactly two equal parts. And I've, and I've done it with the smoothing tool. And as you can see from this lines that are still got a bunch of jagged edges that need to be repaired to this and you have smooth notes. Anyway, so that's in Corel X7 and above. Hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.